Hello, in this video I will show you how to use the denoiser at both render time and in the compositor. I have this example seen here with a shader ball with a gold material applied to it and a floor. The first thing to use the denoiser is to go to the render properties, choose CPU or GPU based on your preferences, then go down to the render tab, choose a high amount of samples, right now I have 100 which is very low, I usually go with 1000 for my scenes and this works fine in most cases, but for this example I will go with 100 so we can clearly see the noise in the image and you need a high amount of samples because the denoiser will work better and won't produce any blurred details. Here you have the denoise option, if you enable it Blender will do a denoise pass after you rendered the image and you will have both the noise image and the denoised image. So you don't need to go to the compositor to apply the denoise. You have many options. The type of denoiser, you can choose between optics if you use the GPU because it is NVIDIA based or open image denoise which is the Intel denoiser based on machine learning and it works with both CPU and GPU. I always choose the open image denoise, but that's just my preference. Passes, leave it to albedo and normal because it is the most accurate. It will take into account both the color of the albedo and the normal map of your mesh. And then the pre-filter is another option for accuracy. I leave it to accurate because it is the best one, even though it is a little bit slower. So that's all you need to do to use the denoise at render time. However, in this video, I want to show you mostly the compositor. So I will turn this off, then go to the view layer properties and enable the denoising data in the data passes. This will give us the normal and the albedo passes for our denoiser to work better in the compositor. And that's all you need to do. So now I will render my image and then I'll go to the compositor. The render is finished. We can clearly see that there is a lot of noise in the dark spots, like here on the top, on the logo, at the bottom, etc. That's because I used a very low samples count. Now let me reduce this to icon and let's go to the compositing tab. I have the split view with the image editor on the bottom so we can see the render result. And let me frame a part of the image with the noise. Here it is our nodes, render layers with the denoising passes. And then to use the denoiser simply press shift A, filter denoise we have the same pre-filter that uh, we have here so i leave it to accurate hdr on by default and then i will connect the image of the render layer to the image of the denoise the denoising normal to the normal and the albedo to the albedo and then the output of the denoise to the input of the image composite Let's wait a little bit and then here we have the result. As you can see, the noise is gone. However, we have a problem that I mentioned before. Because we used a low samples count, we have this blurry effect going on. If you take a look at the borders here and it looks like very blurred. The logo is a bit better and the bottom also is a bit better, but we still have some blurriness going on. You can simply fix it by choosing a higher samples count. Then when you are ready to export your image, go here, image, save as, and then you can save it in the format you want, etc. So that's how you use the denoiser throughout the compositor, as well as how to set it up to use it directly after the rendering. I hope you enjoyed this video, if that's the case leave a like to support the channel, subscribe to stay up to date with the latest contents, if you have any questions comment below and I'll see you in the next one.